Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you the new deployment clasp for the OEM rubber strap for the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300. This is the newest clasp for this model line. You can see that I have the white dial variation in front of me and it's one of my favorite dial colors for the Omega Seamaster. I think the white contrasts very, very well with the black bezel. And this is a watch that I think the OEM bracelet is just not the most comfortable wearing experience. Uh, I think the rubber strap is definitely a lot more comfortable. I've definitely tried to wear this watch on bracelet. It's too clunky, it's too heavy, it doesn't taper, it's a little too sharp on the edges. So I opted for the rubber strap. But the issue that I had with the original rubber strap was that the tang buckle was very hard to operate and uh, kind of engage and disengage. So I was very thrilled when I saw that this deployment clasp actually came out for this model. I think it came out around the same time that the green dial variation or the seaweed <laughs> Seamaster as a lot of people are calling it. I think that's when this deployment clasp dropped and when I saw that I, I immediately thought that uh, I needed to get my hands on one. So this strap and clasp configuration will set you back a chunk of change. Uh, I paid around $500 for mine, I think maybe even a little bit more. I think it was about $300 for the rubber strap and then around $200 or $250 for the clasp. So definitely a chunk of change for just a rubber strap, but I do believe that it is worth it because it really, really ups that wearing experience for the Omega Seamaster. Like I mentioned, the bracelet is not the most comfortable and it really lives on this rubber strap and is even more of a joy to operate with this new deployment clasp. So without further ado, guys, let me get this thing in front of the camera a little bit closer. Um, I'm wearing my Rolex GMT Master 2 today and all of this week, the 126710 BLNR. It's a joy to wear, very luxurious, has great presence and the bracelet is very comfortable, unlike the OEM bracelet on this guy, but it does wear very, very well and looks really good on this rubber strap. So as you can see, this is the OEM rubber strap from Omega, and it has those two lines, the striations that are kind of emulating the OEM bracelet. And you can see that this one has the deployment clasp. So. This is a slightly modified version of the rubber strap. So when you purchase the deployment clasp and rubber strap configuration, you need to get this particular combination. You can't actually re retrofit the deployment clasp on the original rubber strap with the tang buckle, if that makes sense. So when I ordered this from my Omega boutique, uh, I specifically asked for the rubber strap with the deployment clasp. They come as a package. Um, it's only compatible with this particular rubber strap because as you can see there's actually there's no keepers it's just one solid piece of rubber that runs all the way to the clasp and makes it very sleek and just one kind of unit of a rubber strap and looks very clean I mean look at this deployant buckle with the alternating brushed and polished finishing with the, that Omega logo and these two very solid pushers. So let me just show you how it looks on my wrist and the wearing experience. Let me take off this lovely Batman here. So the clasp opens up with ease, just like a bracelet. And you can see very nice finishing in the clasp as well, all milled and very, very solid, as you would come to expect from a $250 uh, clasp, right? So putting on the clasp is a breeze. It's just like with the Omega bracelets. It closes with a very solid snap and it's extremely secure. It might not be as secure as, as the tang buckle because you could, in theory, you know, engage these pushers and the whole watch will kind of disengage. But um, for for day to day use, I don't really see that as an issue. Uh, one thing to note that might be annoying to some of you more OCD people out there, like myself, is that the end of the strap will actually occasionally kind of jut out a little bit. So you sort of have to straighten it out. I don't know if you can make it make that out on the camera. Um, so it's just a slight gripe. It does eventually reposition itself. So that's just one thing I've noticed. But I really love the fact that it's just one 
pure kind of solid rubber strap. It doesn't have the keepers. It doesn't have those exposed strap holes. And it just looks very, very solid. And that clasp just looks amazing. I think it looks really great. And the, the action of the pushers is so solid. And man, I mean, this, this rubber strap just looks so good on the Seamaster, especially this white dial. Um, I've owned the black dial before. I picked up this white dial from a friend of mine through a, a trade that we did. And I just, I love the white dial guys. I think the white dial is the most sort of understated as far as, you know, looking at, at the wave pattern on the dial. It's not super blatant. It's not super in your face. And I just lo love the contrast of sort of the black hands on that white dial as well. It looks really, really sharp. For me personally, a lot of watches in my collection all have black dials. So it's kind of nice to sort of mix it up a little bit as well. So loving this watch, loving this strap, loving this clasp. I think it's probably the best configuration of this watch that you can get. I might be a little biased, but I, I definitely love the Seamaster on the rubber strap. And then this deployment clasp just really makes, makes for a very great, very luxurious and premium and comfortable wearing experience. Uh, the Pretty much the only downside, like I said, was the sort of that, that extra uh, part of the loop that might stick out occasionally. And then of course is just the price as well. So again, guys, uh, just wanted to give you a quick look at this new OEM deployment clasp for the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 on the rubber strap. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.